guys. Okay, this video is going to be my October favourites. Um, it's not actually October anymore if you've noticed, but yeah, I sort of forgot to film one and then. So I might just call it. It can be a late October favourites. Oh, there's a dog by the way. She might pop up every now and then. Say hello Rubes. Some of these I might have featured in my other favourites of the month. I can't remember actually what those favourites were, like whether it was September or August or something, so I'll just call them favourites. The first thing is Benefit Bad Girl Lash Mascara. I'm like back in love with this mascara. It's wonderful. Got it on now. I mean, they're not looking so great now because my eyelashes tend to droop throughout the day. But I've got like five coats on and it's still not clumpy. In my mind, this is a win-win mascara. This is like a mini one. Normal size one is this size, so that's the difference. I just got this in a set. Loving it. It really like helps elongate and make my lashes more voluminous and like more dark and just pretty and fluttery. Another favourite of mine this month, I only got it the other week actually, is Chanel's eyeshadows in Les for Ombres. Um, it's one I'm wearing now, I just did a tutorial featuring, featuring them. I won't go too in depth because I sort of reviewed it at the same time as I did the makeup but you've just got the four colours and two sponge applicators and then the mirror and it comes in cute black pouch so you've got like again this isn't their actual names I'm just I don't know what to call it so you've got a milk chocolate a white chocolate a dark chocolate and then a pink colour pale pink and they're all shimmery and they are zizz they're gorgeous and this is like the first Chanel thing I've ever owned and I just felt really posh when I bought it I felt really like high class and yeah mm -hmm. I'm even keeping the box this is how much an amazing occasion it is for me right now I'm absolutely loving this it's by Illamasqua I've done a lot of first recently actually this is the first Illamasqua product I've ever owned it's the four color liquid metal palette so you have a silver a gold a platinum and then a bronze these are a liquid metal body so you can use them anywhere and the colours I think you can buy them individually as well I think they're called Enrapture, Surge, Solstice and Phenomena they're really rich really pigmented it is limited edition um same as the Chanel thing so I'm not going to swatch it for you but I will feature them in a video soon they are true to what they look like in the pan and they smell divine but literally it smells like I would expect a lip product to smell not like a body product it's gorgeous i like the packaging as well i'm loving my mac vanilla pigment right now this is really good for like when i'm in a hurry and i just want to like throw on some makeup and stuff i just put this on and it just gives the, your lids and your eyes a nice like wash of shimmer you can use it in the corner of your eye or anything really you can even use this as a highlight on the cheeks it's such a like versatile color and like i really do like pigments they last you for ages so yeah this is a mac pigment in vanilla Another thing I've been loving is this um, Too True Effortless Liquid Eyeliner. It looks like this. Um, I was sent this for reviewing purposes, but it doesn't change my opinion of it. I really like it. Too True's a company that I get stuff from anyway, so I don't know. Fair enough, I've been sent it, but I'm not going to lie. If I don't like it, I simply won't show you it. It's quite a nice eyeliner in the fact that it's... Oh, whoops. It's um, like a matte black, whereas quite a lot of eyeliners these days have shimmer in them. And sometimes that's nice, but if you want to do a matte look, sometimes it's just a bit annoying. Whereas that's full on black, and there's no shimmer. And also, it only costs like one ninety five, so can't go wrong with that. Right, I, I definitely talked about this, I think, last month, but I'm still loving Urban Decay's Naked Palette. All their neutral shades, it's just such a wearable palette and it's perfect for like every day and I took this away with me recently and just like basically lived from it because you can get every look from this palette it's perfect it takes you from like day to night and then back again it's just oh it's beautiful beautiful Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner this is in graphite and it's shimmering number 15 it's not what I would call true black it's like more like a silvery black but I think that's because of the shimmer but this is like my new favorite gel liner i'm really into gel liner at the minute i've been using it like all the time loving that it just goes on really smooth i've demonstrated it so many times in videos that i'm not gonna like swatch it or anything one of my favorite perfumes at the minute is this one by avon it's secret fantasy and um, it sort of smells a bit like strawberries and vanilla it's just basically a sweet like floral scent i really like it it smells really i know it sounds stupid but dreamy it's like a perfect teenage scent and it i think it was only about five pounds see this is my new everyday perfume 
give myself a spritz every now and then with it and then I smell nice. Eee. At the minute I'm like really in love with cream blushes. Quite a um a respectable collection of cream blushes at the minute. Not too many but I've got these two from Avon. Two MAC ones. Lady Blush and Lillicent. Uh, this Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge which is what I'm wearing now. And I just purchased a new one actually and this is NARS Orgasm. The price is extortionate by the way. Looks like this. That's the colour of it. It's not showing up quite true to how it is but when I mean, you get a decent thing that's it wound up. And you know the packaging is awesome. I thought this was 1950 and I was like that's a lot of cream blush but you know it is NARS, it's orgasm, it's what I've wanted to try for a while. Went to pay £27 and then of course I did my little oh, oh, oh okay okay and then just bought it and I didn't really have £27 to spend on a blush but got it now. It's like a pinky corally colour I'm guessing but it's really nice, there's small bits of glitter in it and it is a nice blush. Not worth the price, but very nice. Yeah, the thing I love about cream blush is that you can use it on your cheeks, but you can also use it on your lips. You don't need to powder. You can just put it straight onto foundation. You can put it straight onto your bare skin and it looks perfect. It just gives you a nice dewy finish. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, by the way, I'm just topping it up. But yeah, I much prefer cream blush to powder blush. Even though, like, cream's nicer for the summer and powder is nicer for the winter, I'm just... Obviously doing opposites, I like powder in the summer. <laughs> One of my favourite powder blushes at the minute is Spring Sheen by MAC. It's like a ready sort of colour but it's got like goldy bits in it. You can't really see it but it's just a really nice colour and it's a really smooth application. And it's like a suit all colour I think. I've got quite a lot of favourites this month actually. Um, I've only got a mini one of these but I really like this. It's High Beam by Benefit. And it's a perfect highlighter to put along your cheeks or underneath your brow or even like here or something. It's just really pretty. It's like a cool pink colour. And it works really well with like cool colour eyeshadows and blushes and stuff. It's just really pretty. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get a full size of that one when that's run out. Because I really like it. I like Moonbeam as well. Not quite as much though. I mean, I like the texture of them. It's just like slightly different. I tend to wear cooler colours on my face because they suit me better. It's just the way it goes. Face cream wise, I'm still loving A1 Solutions Winter Nourishing Night Cream. Haha, <laughs> it just looks like this. It's just really thick and I use this in the day as well. Just because my skin gets really dry. And I find it's really a good one. I'm still loving Vaseline. Another thing I'm completely loving at the minute is this lip gloss by Too True. It's a crystal lip gloss. This is in shade number 3. I was sent this, by the way. It smells really nice. I have got um, some stuff underneath, but it just gives you this really, I'm not quite sure how you describe it. It's like a sheer wash of bright pink, but it's got like little blue reflex in. It's not so obvious now, but I found that when I was in the light, it was really obvious. It's really nice. Oh my God. Can you hear that rain? That's crazy. I've got a driving lesson in a minute. Oh, I hate driving when it's raining. So basically, I love this lip gloss. And it looks really nice over lipstick. And it's not too sticky, which is quite good. Another tea tree product I'm loving is their nail polish. Um, I was sent this one, which is shade number 16. It's just a purple, but it's got like blue reflex in it. Yeah, it's like such a gorgeous colour. I would paint nail now, but I've got stuff on. Just like that. It's such a nice colour. I didn't go into this expecting to like it, but I actually loved it. And this is in shade... 16 and like with two coats you get a really good coverage. I liked it so much I went out and bought one. This is pink. How do you like pink? <laughs> and it's shade number 17 and that's what I've got on now. They recommend two coats. Right now I've only got on one and as you can see that's pretty good. On the subject of nails I love this Able Nail Experts cuticle balm to protect my nails. It smells really nice and it does really help condition them and it's not sticky and it doesn't like take ages to rub in. It's just really nice. Vaseline as ever. This is the pink one. It just looks like that. And that's just really nice for like a subtle coverage whilst being moisturising. Right, I'm aware I'm whacking on. I've got two things left to show you. This is a necklace from Accessorize that my friend got me for my birthday. It's just like a peacock and there's shimmer there. And then it's got like this gorgeous tail and it's a nice long necklace. So it's like up there. I don't really like short necklaces. I mean I wear this one all the time because it's sentimental but normally I don't really like short necklaces. I'm absolutely in love with this. It's gorgeous. 
and like the little, little teardrop things and they get pinker as it goes down. Thank you Naomi, love it. I've been wearing it to death as well. I thought today I should probably wear something else. And then finally, look at these. Literally orgasmic. They're from Clark's. I know, old people shop. But that's so nice, look at them. They are a bit big for me. Yeah, they didn't have my size and I didn't, I wanted them so much that I got them like a size and a bit too big. But I just wear thick socks so it's fine. Fair lined and it's fur down the front. And they're just leather and they're so nice. And they're so comfy as well, I've been like wearing them to death. So here you have a belated October favourites. Have a great day. Bye.